This is Henry Ortiz and the Fauvism Movement by Fernando Ortiz Ramirez. So, Fauvism is an artistic movement that ranged from 1898 to 1906. The term Fauves originates from an art critic named Louis Vassels after he saw the work of Henry Ortiz and André Durain. Here's a picture on the left of the slide. The term was intended to express the critic's poor reaction to the art and actually mean the wild beast. However, these artists who favored this art used the term and ran with it. Fauvism art is described as violent or strong colors and fierce or aggressive brush strokes. Sometimes these colors may even be applied straight from the tube of paint. The example of Fauvism art on this page is a piece by Henry Matisse titled The Green Line. This piece is Fauvism as you can see with the aggressive brush strokes. They each are in different directions and the colors are very distinct on the painting itself. The aggressive nature of the brush strokes can be seen through the canvas appearing under the paint due to hard painting. The history of Fauvism derives from a combination of post-impressionism and neo-impressionism. These movements and their works influenced artists like Matisse to reject traditional art in terms of 3D space and turn towards flat areas with passes of colors instead. During the time of Fauvism, artists were creating pieces that contained brilliant colors and spontaneous and harsh brush, brush strokes. However, for these artists, they used Fauvism as a stepping stone to other developments. For example, Georges Brock went on to develop Cubism and Andre Durain turned towards neoclassical art styles. However, Matisse continued to use Fauvistic art styles. The painting in this slide is another piece by Matisse titled The Desert, Harmony in Red. Desert, Harmony, Harmony in Red. This is characterized as Fauvism from the nature of the colors. The colors used are bright and distinct. The red is so brilliant that it contributes to the flatness of this piece, almost blending in the table and wall as one flat piece. It was originally supposed to be blue, but Matisse was disappointed with the color and how it made him feel, and started over. With Harmony in red, he felt like it generated a feeling of warmth and comfort, but still remind of intent, how intense it is in its composition. Henry Matisse is a multi-talented art artist as he also practices sculpting, printmaking, designing, and writing. He first started painting after dealing with his appendicitis in 1889. He went on to open his first one-man art exhibition in 1904, which generated some buzz for his use of colors. He took critics' words as fuel to keep painting and became very popular. He challenged artists to see art in a different manner. When Cubism was becoming popular, Matisse ventured off into other styles, but always returned to his paintings being large with exotic, rich, and brilliant colors. This slide contains two pieces by Matisse. The one on the left is titled Woman with a Hat. This piece is a portrait. Matisse used his Fauvism style to create brilliant colors. The colors of her hat and her outfit are purely expressive as she was actually wearing black attire. With this piece, the woman with the hat is the focal point, yet viewers are often drawn to the use of colors. You can also see that brush strokes go in many different directions. They are aggressive in a sense that in some pieces, some places it reveals the canvas. There are also colors that one would not typically see on a portrait of a woman at the time. The painting to the right is titled Still Life with Vegetables. Just like previously mentioned with his other paintings, Matisse used direct, excuse me, distinct brush strokes. You can almost make out how he moved his brush on a canvas. There are also areas where the paint piled up due to the aggressive brush strokes. The colors are, again, very brilliant and pop more so than one would imagine with vegetables. Fauvism has greatly influenced other artwork through its technique. Many other artists also adopted the thick brushwork and use of bright colors. As I mentioned earlier, however, this development serves as, as a traditional transitional period for a lot of its forerunners like Andre Durain. Fauvism influenced artists like Durain to continue to work through colors even when he shifted towards using earthly tones. Fauvism and the influence of Matisse can be seen in artwork produced by many artists today. The picture I included on this slide is by an artist named Marcel Mouly. This piece is titled Large Picture with Red Pedestal Table. You can see the influence of Fauvism and artists like Matisse in the sense that Mouly uses bright and uncommon colors for the piece. He also shows a sense of flatness similar to Matisse's piece, The Harmony in Red. This shows that artists part of this movement were influential in their way of using colors to express a different story. And here I have listed my references. Thanks for listening.